local news tonight. Neighbors who live off of Glenwood Drive are saying enough is enough after another crash in front of their yard this morning. Channel 3's Hunter Hoagland spoke to a man who says somebody is going to die if the city doesn't take action. For the last 23 years, George Smart has sat on his porch watching as the cars fly by. I see a lot of speed, a lot of cars going too fast. Too fast around this curve where his home sits as a target. So many cars have wrecked here in this corner here. The latest in the string of accidents on Glenwood Drive happened Saturday morning when Chattanooga police say this white Chevy was speeding and hit another driver, sending them into a telephone pole in front of Smart's home. The car flipped, taking out fences, a fire hydrant, and scaring the neighbors nearby. I don't let my grandkids or kids come out here and play in the yard when they come. They go to the back because I'm so scared that a car might come up and kill them. Smart just had his fence repaired Tuesday after another driver came around the curve and slammed into his home last month. He says this is the sixth crash off the curve in recent years. I had one turnover in the yard here. I had one go across my driveway and hit my neighbor house. Clearly, these signs aren't working. Smart is now hoping the city will put up guardrails to put the brakes on the number of crashes happening on Glenwood Drive. We just pray that another car don't come through this house. Well, George Smart says in addition to the guardrails, he feels an increased police present near, presence near the area would help cut back on speeding drivers. We're told at least one of the victims in today's accident was taken to the hospital. It's unclear how they're doing tonight.